There's an extraordinary moment in Sense and Sensibility where um, uh, Marianne and Eleanor are talking about age. And Marianne's 17. Eleanor, um, disconcertingly self-possessed, is only 19. And Eleanor, uh, Marianne has been teased um, about the... Uh, uh, the evident torn dress that Colonel Brandon, age 35, has been developing for her, mainly shown by the fact that he never can talk to her at all. Um, and uh, she's scornful of the notion that, uh, and embarrassed by the notion that she could ever be interested in this man who's reached this hugely advanced age. Um, and Eleanor says, well, perhaps 35 and 17 shouldn't have anything with each other but perhaps if a woman of 27 nice woman of 27 came along Colonel Brandon who's so nice but so melancholy um, might find happiness with her and Marianne says 27 she says a woman of 7 and 20 could never hope to feel or inspire affection again and it's one of the many things I think Marianne says in Sense and Sensibility that we should find comical. I mean, Eleanor laughs at her, but I think far too few readers and literary critics laugh at Marianne because as well as being, um, you know, as well as her fate being painful, she's ludicrously, hilariously foolish uh, sometimes. And this thing about age is ridiculous, but age is very, very important. And um, uh, the, the, the clock is ticking on quite a lot of the female characters in uh, Austen's novels. And we all know about Charlotte Lucas, um, whose subplot in Pride and Prejudice has always made a huge impression on readers. Charlotte Lucas is, guess what, 27. And she is the only, the only female character, interestingly, in all Jane Austen's novels, who marries a man younger than herself. Because Mr. Collins, although he's always played by middle-aged men in dramatisation, is in fact um, a serious-looking young man of 25. And Charlotte Lucas grabs at him because at 27, with almost no money, he provides her with a comfortable way of life, even if she has to spend much of that life avoiding him. Um, except, of course, when they go to bed. I mean, she's pregnant by the end of the novel, so, you know, she can't avoid him completely. And 27 is also, interestingly, the age that the heroine of, the, of Jane Austen's last completed novel, Persuasion, is. Anne Elliot is 27. Apparently, her bloom is gone. Um, her, her sister, Elizabeth, her older sister, is 29 and still unmarried, and although handsome as anything, feels the approach of the years of danger. Um, and the miracle, the miracle of, of, of uh, persuasion is that actually somehow a bit of sea air at Lyme Regis and a bit of uh, uh, jealousy on Captain Wentworth's part when he sees the attentions of Mr. Elliot and the bloom comes back. We shouldn't think that Jane Austen subscribes to some of the prejudices of, about age that her characters have. After all, in uh, uh, Emma, Mrs. Weston, um, uh, Emma's former governess, finds a nice husband, gets pregnant, has a baby without dying, and she's in her mid-30s. It's all possible. But age consciousness is part of the sort of the voltage of her novels. It's part of what everybody's aware of and particularly of course women are aware of.